this is the Evolution Rage 3 DB, which has been fitted with a diamond blade. That means that this machine is one of the most versatile machines that you can actually buy. Not only can you cut wood, metal and plastic with the blade supplied, if you put the diamond blade on it, you can actually cut reinforced concrete and bricks and masonry etc very easily. At the front, you will notice that there are two jigs. I've actually made these jigs to fit onto this machine so that you can cut bricks. Cutting a normal brick that way in half is very easy. You can do that with a bolster chisel. If you need to cut it that way or you need to cut it that way, it's a lot more difficult. But with this machine and with one of these jigs, you can do that very easily. This is the first jig that I made. I do have a mate who's a builder and he needed to cut some bricks lengthways so I made him this jig simply from a few pieces of scrap timber. Simply put the brick in there, tighten up the clamp, align that on the saw with the diamond blade and you can cut straight through a brick and it'll give you an extremely clean cut like so. If you wanted to cut a brick slip which is about 10 or 15 millimeters thick you could quite easily do that using this jig. All you'd have to do is move the fence this way slightly and you could quite easily cut 10 or 15 millimeters off the face of a brick. You could also improve that if you put slots in the timber there instead of just screwing it down you could then adjust that to wherever you want it. But this was my first attempt at making the jig. I have done a video on how to make this jig so if you want to do that it is very easy and if you do need to cut a brick right down the centre like that, this jig will do it easily on that machine. I then discovered that he didn't want to cut the bricks in that orientation, he wanted to cut them in that orientation. So then I made Mark II which has a steel base, some 3 inch box section and the fence at the back. This one is actually adjustable so you can actually adjust it to wherever you want it. That enabled me to cut this block paver in half like so and you can see that it has given us an extremely good cut. There's just absolutely nothing wrong with that cut whatsoever. So this one is adjustable. You do have to clamp the brick in position to the fence but then you can cut through it halfway and then flip it over and cut through the hover half and that gives you a perfect cut like that.